Hey folks, guess what? I've got some mind-blowing news straight from Beijing. That's even more exhilarating than Huawei's 5G comeback. This from China is about to unleash a game changer. The production of quantum chips. Yeah, you heard it right. It's not just about research or design. We're talking full on production. Now, let me break it down for you. Quantum chips, also known as super chips, have a processing and transmission speed that's a whopping 1,000 times faster than regular silicon chips. It's a match in terms of speed and energy efficiency. Now you might be thinking, that sounds cool, but what's the big deal? Well, here's the deal. To put it into perspective, let's talk about the ChatGPT4. That bad boy would require over 13,000 NVIDIA GPU chips. But with these quantum chips, a mere 13 chips would do the trick. Yeah, you heard me right, folks. Talk about a quantum leap right here. And that's why international community have recognized the photonics as the best tech route for the next generation of semiconductors. So are you starting to see why China's achievement in mass producing quantum chips is a major breakthrough? Remember how not too long ago, the US tried to flex its semiconductor industry advantage and launch a high-tech blockade against China? Well, guess what? China doesn't take it lying down. They fight back with the most fierce retaliation. They try their best to fight back. Massive production of photonic chips marks a breakthrough for China's chip industry, and it's a big fat fuel for the US blockade. I'm not exaggerating when I see that once the Chinese Academy of Science achieves mass production with this technology, it will completely disrupt the entire AI market landscape, my friend. Remember those recent headlines about tech giants like Bill Gates and Jensen Huang flocking to China? Do you remember that? Well, now it's more clear as day that they were all making earlier moves, you know sniffing out business opportunities that others couldn't even catch a whiff of. So my friend, if you want to stay in loop with the latest and greatest business and investment insights, please make sure to hit that like button and smash the subscribe. Then you will get the information that you need. Now let's dive into today's content. Now you know how the US company and other few in the blocking chips to China, right? On this October 9th, South Korea dropped a boom shell announcement. The US is lowering Samsung and SK Hynix to supply chains to their factories in China. Yeah, you heard me right. No more need for US approval. It's like granting these companies a permanent get out of jail free card from the US chip ban. Now you might be thinking, what's a big deal? Well, let me break it down for you. South Korea, home to Samsung and SK Hynix, is a major player in the global storage chip market. These two giants, along with Micron, dominate the storage chip industry with a whopping 62.7% market share in 2022. And just to get what the US thought, they figured if they sacrificed the interests of these two shots, it would put a limit on China's chip industry. But unfortunately, China's chip game is like a boss battle, breaking through the barriers left and right and getting stronger by the day. Meanwhile, these two giants are struggling big time. Samsung recorded a mind-boggling loss of over $50 billion in the first half of this year, the biggest in over a decade. And how about SK Hynix? They are not far behind with a loss of over $34 billion, setting their own record for losses. And that's not all, folks. South Korea's semiconductor exports plummeted by a whopping 36.8%. Ouch. You see, the US trying to play their cards, but it doesn't anticipate the consequence. By messing with China's chip market, they inadvertently hurt themselves and their own aliens. 
Samsung and SK Hynix invested a ton of money in China. You know, Samsung dropped a staggering $33 billion in Xi'an province in China to build a fab. And they've got assembly plant in Suzhou. SK Hynix did the same in Wuxi with their second largest fab reaching full capacity. But with the US modeling, all those huge orders vanished into the thin air. And for what? To limit market share and stifle their own industry? Who in the world thought that would be a good idea? Over the decade ago, China's demand for storage chips reached a whopping 30% of the global market. Yet these three giants hold a monopoly. The high barriers to entry in the storage chip technology made it a tough nut to crack. But under the pressure of the blockade, China finally cracked it. From chip fabrication to packaging, they achieved full localization, breaking the monopoly of these overseas giants. So what I want to see here is sometimes the worst thing is the best thing. So just imagine the faces of these three giants right now. They are probably dumbfounded. But hey, they're not giving up without a fight. They will try dumpling their products and other carding prices. But let me ask you here, do you really think they can compete with China's dominant chip chain? China's own Yangtze storage technologies has already taken the market by storm, slashing prices by half. And now this giant wants to come back and grab a piece of the pie? Is that a right time? Well, guess what? China is rolling out the red carpet and welcoming them with open arms. Why? Well, I think it's simple. Firstly, it helps improve the domestic industry chain. Secondly, it fosters the technological exchange and helps fill in the gap. After all, China's not the number one player just yet, so there's plenty to learn from each other. But most importantly, the suppliers of Samsung and SK Hynix are our own Chinese business. Because we can see that Samsung publicly listed six Chinese companies in their 2022 supply chain. And there are nearly 10 A-share companies providing semiconductor-related service to Samsung and SK Hynix. These companies have suffered a lot due to the chain ban. And now they're back. Guess what? Our suppliers have work to do and we can all make serious money together. It's a win-win situation, my friends. Especially in the downturn times, I think the collaboration is more important than competition. Well, let's wait to the Chinese part. Because I think we still have some catching up to do compared to those fancy developed nations. Take a look at the likes of IBM, Google, and Microsoft in the USA. They're already leading the pack when it comes to quantum computing. So our Chinese tech giants need to step up their game and play catch up in this area. That means more research, more investment, and more hustle to boost their competitive edge. Companies like Huawei, Alibaba, and Tencent have been making their moves and investment in the quantum chip field. And just yesterday, I just got an interesting news from China tech thing. Professor Wu Huaqing and Associated Professor Gao Bing from Tsinghua University's Integrated Circuit School have cracked in the code. They've developed the world's first fully integrated system on chip that supports efficient on-chip learning. This breakthrough in the field of on-chip learning using resistive storage and computing is a game changer. There's no doubt it's set to revolutionize the development of AI aerial, as well as autonomous driving, variable devices, and more. Their incredible achievement got published in the latest issue of the prestigious journal Science. The biggest breakthrough of it is it only consumes a mere 3% of energy of those fancy SIC systems in advanced processors for the same tasks. That's some next level energy efficiency, my friend. This chip is a powerhouse ready to meet the high computational demands of the AI era. It seems like that China's tech game is heating up from a historical perspective, just like Huawei's boss Ren Zhengfei said, 
The fourth industrial revolution is on its way. Are you ready, my friend? As nobody want to miss out on this kind of opportunity. Here's the deal. I've heard that a foreign company has a whopping 7% stake in the quantum chip industry chain in China's Asia stock market. Clearly, they're super bullish on that. So we'd better pay close attention on it. I've got you covered with some top-notch investment targets in this industry chain. If you're interested of it, click the first link in the comment section to grab my in-depth analysis report. And lastly, I just want to say let's make cash out from our knowledges, because that's where the cheese lies.